Hello guys, my name is Trevor Barnes and welcome to Tech Inside. Recently I've gotten lots of questions on how to remotely control a computer from another computer, maybe in the same room or maybe on the other side of the planet. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that in this video, so let's get started. Well, first things first, there's many different methods and services you can use to do this. Microsoft has one called Remote Control something or another, I forget. Um, and then you can do that, but it's a little more complicated. You have to open up your imports, do a little more technical stuff. Um, so you can use a service instead. Now, sometimes they cost money and we don't have any. So what we want to do is use a free service. And my favorite service, free or paid or whatever, just in general, favorite service is called TeamViewer, which just happens to be free. So here we go. Look at TeamViewer. Essentially what this software does is allow you to remotely control a computer anywhere else in the world because it uses the internet. So um, pretty much what you do, it's free for private use, it says right here. Pretty much private use means that if you're using it for your individual uses, you, it gives you the right to use it and you can do whatever you want to do. So just click download and once you click download, save it wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it to my desktop and we'll install it at that point. So you can see I have the file right here. I'm going to walk you guys through the installation of this because there are a few options you may or may not want to click depending on what you're doing. So you can see here you have three main um, installation um, like options. Basic installation, which essentially will just install the whole program. Insta installation uh, to access this computer remotely. So essentially what this will do is just skip kind of all the crap you don't need and just uh, install the service that lets you remotely control it. Now if you let's say uh, you want to remote control that computer that's right there, you can see the blue screen um, and you don't care about remote controlling another computer from there, you can click this option while installing it on that computer. But instead I want the full thing so I'm going to click basic installation. Also down here, it says, how do you want to use TeamViewer? You got to click personal or not commercial use, or it will want you to pay money, which we don't have. So click accept slash finish here. And now you just wait and let it do all its stuff. You click yes if it says something like it just said. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it said something. So like, oh, you got to click yes. And now you just let it install. It should take only but a few seconds. The cool thing about this software is once it's done installing, look at that. It's going to open up right into the program. So we can just click close. We don't look at the ad stupid information. A few things here you can see is I'm going to blur it out for my purposes, but you see something called your ID and your password. You use these two things if you want to let someone else remote control your computer, but not always have, you know, access to it. So this stuff can change that way. Uh, if you just want to access someone else's computer, you can put their ID in here or do whatever you got to do, um, which is pretty cool. But the coolest thing about this software is you can make an account. The cool thing about making an account is that way you can have other computers linked to your account. So all you got to do is log in and all your computers are there that you want to remote into. So you just click sign up, you put your information in and you click next. In my case, I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in. Now I'm going to say keep me signed in. And when you say that, it's going to say, hey, you got to have this start with Windows, which I'm going to say is OK. And I'm going to click start with Windows and click sign in. Now you can see all my computers I currently have online that I can remote. If I click this, you can see some others that are just currently offline. So I want to remotely control that computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pretty much do the exact same process I did up to now, but now I'm going to click add this computer if I wanted to add a computer, whatever computer I'm currently working on. So if I want to add this computer to the list, I could just do that. I'm not going to do that here. But let's say I did that over there already, and now I'm ready to access it remotely. So I'm on this computer here. I'm going to click inside radio control because that's what the, I've named that computer. And look at that. See, that? that's blue. It's blue. And that's blue. It's the same thing. Watch this. If I go to actions and click control alt delete, it changes it here and it changes it there. You probably can't read that there, but let me uh, put the password in here and look, you're going to see in both places, it's going to be like magic where you're going to see the inside radio control module. There we go. See, look, it changed there. It's now here and now you can see everything. So that's the cool thing. I'm remotely controlling this computer now and I can do whatever I need to do. Clean. I'll go to start menu, do something else, you know, blah, 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 blah. Look, here's a uh, audacity. I got to do something here. You can do work when you're away from home. You can access things. You can do whatever you want. You can transfer files. One thing I really like about TeamViewer, you can copy and paste things in. So if I, you know, take something I need uh, on this computer, I could actually just kind of bring it over here and really nicely and easily. So it's really cool software. I really enjoy it. And that's essentially how you do it. It's pretty simple, isn't it? It's not real difficult. So you should be able to do everything I do. And look, when you're done, 
You just have to exit out, click the little exit button, and look, you're done. And look, that's going to log off, so at least no one else can go back on it and steal information or do something like that. That's it, guys. I, I had a lot of people ask me how you do something like this, and that's how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it's informative for you guys, because uh, I know it's very useful, um, and it's something that I wish I knew how to do a long time ago, because it's just very useful. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, so long.